hi everyone in this video i am going to explain you over the process of fibrinolysis you can also call it as clot lysis competency for the today's class describe the steps of the fibrinolysis it is a naturally occurring anti clotting mechanism means it is happening within our own body and first of all why we require fibrinolysis we know that formation of the clot is taking place within the blood vessels and this is a cascade phenomenon as we know so this might occur throughout the blood vessel and may damage our body or the vascular system so we need to restrict it to the site of injury so we need a fibrinolysis mechanism there are mainly three steps involved in the process of fibrinolysis first is activation of the protein c then the activation of the plasmin and finally the step of fibrinolysis before discussing about those three steps i clubbed all them and made this chart or you can say copied from the gk paul no need to be worried so okay the first step activation of the protein c it is it is taking place with the help of two more things those are thrombin and the thrombomodulin thrombin is formed in the process of clot in stage 2 that is from prothrombin to the thrombin this thrombin converts the fibrinogen to the fibrin and it also activates the anti clotting mechanism by activating the protein c and we know that there will be daily physiological stress within our blood vessels that may activate our clotting factors causing clot this might damage our body so we need to maintain those formed clots what happens is that our endothelium knows these types of clot will be formed so it releases the hormone called as thrombomodulin it also activates the protein c along with protein s as a cofactor the activated protein c activates the plasminogen activators these plasminogen activators will convert the plasminogen to the plasmin plasminogen is converted to the plasmin and with the help of thrombin and the plasminogen activator it is going to lyse our clot that is it is going to degrade as a fibrin and this degraded fibrin is called as fibrin degraded degradation product as we know that it is lyse uh, it is lysing our clot but we need to prevent the further clot formation so what happens is that the activated protein c inactivates the factor 5 and the factor 8 what is the name of factor 5 and factor 8 factor 5 is our pro accelerin factor 8 is anti hemophilic factor a now i am going to summarize these three steps the first step activation of the protein c here the thrombin acts as an enzyme to activate the protein c and the thrombomodulin a hormone secre secreted from the endothelial cells can also activate the protein c next the activation of the plasmin the activated protein c activates the plasminogen activator it is not actually activating the plasminogen activator directly it is mainly removing the inhibition capacity from the plasmin plasminogen activation inhibitors that in turn helping the plasminogen activator the activated protein c promotes the formation of the plasmin from the fiber plasminogen and the activated protein c along with the cofactor protein s inactivates the factor 5 and the factor 8 the final step that is fibrinolysis the plasmin acts as an enzyme for the fibrinolysis the fibrin is getting degraded to form the fibrin degradation products by the plasmin and here you need to know one applied aspect this fib fibrin degradation product level indicates the rate of fibrinolysis for example if there are there are any intravascular coagulation then there is anti anti clotting mechanism that is going to form the fibrin degradation products so if there are any intravascular coagulation then there is increased fdp level 